come back. Thank you. Thank what you. was it that made you want to come back to Kilmarnock? Um, uh, obviously, um, I'm still 19. I'm still young. Um, what's important for me is to to get game time and then to play and to play and get more uh, involved in men's football and stuff like that. So for me, it was more of a you know, uh, they offered to, for me to get game time, and you know, I was here last year, and it was a great club last year, and I thought uh, I'll, I'll come and enjoy it again. So, How important was that development, uh, that game time for your development at the tail end of last season? Oh, of course, it was very important. Um, obviously, uh, you know, I it was m- more of an impact kind of role last year that I had with Steve Clark. Um, but even just that, you know, like he would say to me, um, it's better playing. 20, 25 minutes in the SPL than playing probably 60 minutes in uh, in the 23s, you know. So uh, just getting that uh, that experience that helped me uh, learn a lot more about football, learn learn how to slow things down or speed things up at the right time and just stuff like that. So. Who did you speak to over the summer from the coaching staff here? Was it, was it Ali Steyer or was it the new manager? That sort of um, well, Angelo actually rang me. Uh, he rang me... Uh, Maybe uh, maybe a week before um, I came here, um, just telling me that he was interested and uh, that that he wanted me to come back and uh, and obviously help the team. So uh, mostly just him. Um, yeah, just really that's it really. So how encouraging is that when it's a whole new management sort of set up almost that's come in and yet they still sort of value you so highly? And that that must be pretty reassuring. Yeah. yeah, of course. You know, obviously it's a it's it's a big thing because uh, you know you 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 obviously need the manager's trust to, to play every week and uh, I feel like uh, I'm starting to develop that trust more and more with uh, with every training session because obviously I've only trained for two days. Um, you know he's uh, you know he's starting to learn what kind of player I am and stuff like that. So obviously it'll take a little bit of time, but just the fact that he uh, just even from last season, just watching me last season, obviously he obviously knew that uh, I was a player that he wanted and that's obviously a big thing too. So. You hear they sort of take the burden off of Evans' shoulders a wee bit. I mean, I think he's only scored one goal, not in play since, since January. A lot of the focus is put on him, especially with Tiff Boyd having retired. And, uh, are you coming here to sort of try and take on that sort of goal scoring burden a wee bit off? Yeah, of course. You know, my goal is uh, to get double digits this year, uh, personally. Uh, it's something I need to add to my game a little bit more. Uh, more goals, more assists, more numbers. Because at the end of the day, that's uh, that's something that's something that gets you further in your career. Is numbers mostly. It's what teams look at and stuff like that. So that's important for me. Uh, obviously, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to to take. I won't say I'm not here to take Brophy's position, but I'm here to um, help him in in ways of uh, not have being uh, loads of pressure on him uh, all, all the time with him having to score goals and having to do this. Like I'm trying to to help him either with if that's with an assist or with the goal. So the pressure's not 100% on him, so he can relax a little bit more and maybe the goals will start flowing in more when he's a little bit more relaxed, you know? What sort of feedback did you get from Liverpool when you were back um, just, uh, just they were all proud of, uh, obviously I, I matured a lot since uh, I was here last year. Um, they were just proud of how much I matured. You know, I had uh, my 23s coach and a couple of the other staff come up to my apartment here last year and just uh, and just like see how I was living and just see how I was doing. Um, Obviously, they've seen a lot of big mature, uh, big mature, <laughs> like me mature a lot um, since I've been here. So uh, um, it's just, it's just mostly about that, and they've seen me. Obviously, I've improved my game too. Um, you know, last year uh, I didn't realize how quick I was until until I came here, really. And uh, and and now I'm uh, and now I'm beating players easier because I'm listening to what people are telling me, and it, it just loads of different information that I've taken on that's just helped me a lot. So. Was this visit? Are they going around sort of clean, checking surfaces or cleaning all those sort of <laughs> things, checking up how you're living that sort of Yeah, yeah, just seeing like uh, like if I can cook and all this kind of <laughs> stuff. You know what I mean? So you know, it, place yeah, up before they came. yeah, of course, man. How do you get it cleaned? <laughs> <laughs> remember that goal late on against St Mirren towards the, the end of last season, and I remember sort of you know the look in your face when you were running away celebrating. Is that the type of thing that really spurs you on to? come back out on loan and get that top team football? Yeah, of course, because obviously you know, I've scored goals for as all throughout my career, as uh, as my youth career, um, and that was obviously my first professional goal, and, and I can say now that I've never felt feeling like that before in my life, you know, it was just kind of like that butterfly kind of thing in your stomach, like I felt like emotional, do you know what I mean? Um, and it was just, it was just honestly, it was unbelievable feeling because it was also the last minute, last minute of the game. Like imagine your first goal, freshman goal, was a last minute winner. Like do you know what I mean? Like it's just one of those like moments that you kind of write in your script. Do you know what I mean? 
and it was just uh, it was just honestly it was just the feeling that I had then was unbelievable and it was and it's good and I remember that for the rest of my life so when you say you're aiming for double digits is that because you, you've had that one wee sample of that, that feeling oh yeah of course taking, taking yeah like of course like that's obviously one of the reasons because the feeling that I got uh, scoring that one goal that I did score um, but it's not even just that it's not even just for personal reasons um, obviously um, I'm, I'm like I said before, I'm trying to help Rofi out. I'm trying to help him score goals and have the team do better. Because at the end of the day, you know, we need to probably score a little bit more goals and stuff like that. And that's what's important is, is, is scoring and winning games and helping people out. So that's just what it's really all about. When you were back to Liverpool, was Jurgen Klopp, was that somebody who spoke to you and gave you any sort of advice or appraisal for you? Playing? Yeah, of course. You know, he... he uh, in the game I played against Bradford, he, uh, he obviously said to me, he said, I know you're very direct, I know you're very you're very quick, you you run at players, yeah, he's, he's, he's just, just play, pretty much just do you, like obviously like, they have their own structure and how they do things, but he just wants me to, to be free and just play the way I play and then obviously build into that structure the more I'm with him. Um, yeah, and he, you know, he said that, uh, or, or I'm guessing that he probably is watching me and seeing how I'm doing and stuff like that, so... Um, yeah, but from the one game I played with him, it was very, it was very good, and it seemed like he knew uh, how well I did. So, is, is the dream still to break it? Not Liverpool side, and if so, how achievable do you think? Do you think that is for you? Um, you know, obviously it's still a dream of mine. Um, you know, the best team in the world won Champions League last year. Um, obviously, it's very, very difficult. You know, Salah, Mane, and Firmino. You know, it's almost impossible, really, if you think about it. But you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not putting myself down, saying I'm never going to do it because that's, that's, it's negative thinking. You know, you, if you, if you want to get somewhere, you can't think I'm not going to do something. You have to, you have to put your mind to it, and you got to do it. Do you know what I mean? So, um, obviously, it's obviously a very hard task because there are three, uh, they're probably three best forward players in the world. Do you know what I mean? Like up there, and and uh, but you know, if I keep uh, keep going and keep pushing myself, I don't see why eventually I couldn't be as good as them. Do you know what I mean? So.